Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XLM. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XLM and once again, this is the one day chart. We're still sitting here just under 12 cents. In today's video, I'm going to focus more on XLM, the cryptocurrency, the cryptocurrency me and you invest in, because that's what we're going to get rich from. We're not going to get rich from Stellar's achievements. We need to see how this cryptocurrency is going to rise in price in the future. So XLM, often considered XRP's little brother, shares a similar mission of disrupting cross-border finances. Though here is how Stellar does so from a different angle, cross-border microtransactions. XLM places an emphasis on serving the underserved. A refreshing thought from the usual profit-seeking motives in VCs and Web3. This focus has made Stellar a preferred option for cross-border microtransactions. Now, a lot of people would say, well, it's microtransactions, but you got to remember that happens at a very high volume. Think about how many micropayments you make in a month. Think about how many micropayments you make in a year. That all adds up, and that could lead to a lot of value in a short period of time especially in regions where traditional banking infrastructure is lacking. Stellar's blockchain technology ensures that even the small transfers can now be executed efficiently. In return, opening up a world of financial possibilities for the unbanked. Because currently, if you're looking to send a bank-to-bank -bank cross-border remittance, it's quite a headache. You're probably looking at two to three business days. Add on an extra $25 to $50 for middlemen fees. Imagine if you're sending money home back to your family's country so they can eat. Two to three days absolutely won't do. And that's another reason that I like XLM. Because it's not just sending money back home. Now they're looking at humanitarian aid as well. Imagine your house just gets washed away by a flood. And within a matter of seconds instead of a matter of days, you have money in your pocket. You could go get something to eat. Maybe get a hotel room till you figure things out. That is game changing. And I know that is going to blow up in a short period of time. Every single country is going to look at that. Then there's tokenization of assets. But beyond disrupting payments, Stellar shines in the aspect of value tokenization. It enables the creation of digital representations of real-world assets, including stocks, real estate, and commodities. This not only enhances the liquidity of these assets, as they can be tokenized fractions on Stellar. Now, the fact that Stellar is going in the direction of tokenization, that's going to lead to a very high-priced XLM in the future. That's trillions and trillions of dollars. That market is still in its infancy, and it's going to pop sooner or later. And when it does, look out. We will not be looking at a 12-cent XLM ever again. Then there's the Stellar Development Foundation. The Stellar Development Foundation launched in 2014 and continues to play a pivotal role in Stellar's growth, serving as a nonprofit organization dedicated to ensuring the XLM network's adoption by supporting development and adoption internally and externally as well. The SDF actively collaborates with the public and private sector to promote financial inclusion with DLT. In my opinion, these are four of the most innovative utilities on the Stellar network. Then you look, start to look beyond that. You look at MoneyGram and WorldWire and all the partnerships that Stellar has as well. That's why I said XLM is guaranteed to give you financial freedom in the future. Global liquidity crisis. Ripple and Stellar have been working for a long time to help make 
the transition and give the markets the liquidity they need to emerge from the crisis. The new financial system is upon us. XRP and XLM are the guardians. And I've been saying this for quite a while. Eventually, we are going to see that massive liquidity crisis come. And when it does, you better be holding crypto. You better be holding XLM. Otherwise, you will regret it for the rest of your life. 100% the above. Stellar is partnered with United Nations, World Economic Forum, MoneyGram, member of the CFTC Advisory Committee with BlackRock and JP Morgan, Ukraine, CBDC built on Stellar, USDC and EURC on Stellar. Jed McCaleb is partnered with Elon Musk and vast space stations and SpaceX. That's not going to push the price of XLM. But again, those other partnerships, they definitely are looking at XLM as being part, as being the technology of the future, part of the new financial system. One thing I want to point out is that things are changing around XLM and XRP. You know, there was a time where you said XRP is going to be used for bank-to-bank -bank payments and CBDCs. But now we see XLM also going in that same direction around CBDCs. But one thing I also noticed is that we always looked at XLM as banking the unbanked. And now we're starting to see XRP go in that direction as well. These two cryptocurrencies are going kind of after all the same money. But they're going to work side by side inside the new financial system as well. They are not enemies. So Stellar XLM is literally and officially working with the governments to introduce digital currencies. Stellar protects itself with the foundation. Jed is a very intelligent man who will never be fooled by the SEC. XLM is a clear winner and will be in the top three next bull run. And I would say the same thing. I think XLM eventually will be a top three cryptocurrency. I think we are going to see XRP also rise as the number one currency at some point in the future, pushing out Bitcoin. And XLM is going to be up there as well. And a lot of people always like to talk about the price of XRP. But when you talk about the price of XRP, you need to talk about XLM. These two cryptocurrencies move together most of the time. And they're going to move together in the next run as well. Well, Bitcoin is the greatest distraction from the greatest disruption that is coming to financial services, said Franklin Templeton, president and CEO Jenny Johnson. Now, Franklin Templeton is already tokenizing assets using Stellar Network. Take a listen to this. Bitcoin is the greatest distraction from the greatest disruption that is coming to financial services. Um, I think AI is probably the other big disruption there, but... Um, and, and there's so much noise around a lot of things like FTX and others. But if you, if you bring the technology down to its, its core value, it does three things. One is it, um, it allows a payment mechanism. Number two, it allows smart contracts to be programmed into the token. And three, because it's a general ledger, it has a source of truth. So whoever has that token, all rights in that token are, are granted to that person. So if I sell it to Frank, I don't have to go through a third party to do it. Frank gets it and Frank gets all the rights. So my favorite example is Rihanna, who uh, came out with, right before the Super Bowl, she, and I know she's just testing the market in this, 300 NFTs, each one worth 0.00033% royalties in one of her biggest songs. Well, why can she do that? She can do it because when Spotify plays a Rihanna song, it can capture the smart contract executes and says, I owe royalties here. And so nobody has to be involved in it. And it can take the fractional payment and go to, because Frank's a big Rihanna fan, so it goes to his account and he, he owns a couple of those. <laughs> uh, and, and he's paid, right? So now think about any way in which you have uh, revenue streams or royalty streams that you can now start to fractionalize that or democratize that and think about how that is an uncorrelated asset to all the traditional assets. So other examples is, you know, I think that athletes are going to, they'll sign a big contract, they'll say to their fans, I'm going to sell off, you know, tokens worth 10% of my future revenue stream, I'm going to, you know, 100,000 tokens, and boom, uh, the fans are going to probably pay a premium for it. 
So it will be a way, if you think about it, it's just securitization done on steroids. And it's merely that this technology is enabling it. And it's also enabling other very interesting companies that will disrupt some of the traditional business models. You know she's talking about Stellar Network, I'm sure, because Franklin Templeton absolutely loves Stellar. And I like the fact that she said Bitcoin is the greatest distraction from the greatest disruption. You know, Bitcoin maxis, they always want to make you second guess your investment. They always want to make you believe that Bitcoin is the future. When in fact, you're already holding the future when you're holding XLM. And you know, that future is right around the corner. I'm talking when XLM starts to really, really amp up. So many people are going to miss out on one of the greatest opportunities in their lifetime. I'm, t you know, we're in the fourth industrial revolution and we're at the verge of a new financial system rising from the ashes because you could see us rushing to the bottom. And anybody that overlooks this cryptocurrency is going to regret it. And I, you could see it be as an XLM holder. You see what's coming next. Just then, Brazil rolls out blockchain-based digital ID. The Brazilian central bank is conducting the pilot test on the Stellar blockchain since it has its highly functional and designed for mass enterprise adoption, XLM. But you know what else is nice about Brazil doing this? It shows you that XLM is going in the direction around CBDCs as well, kind of the same direction that XRP is going in. It is possible we are in the middle of a great, greater Great Depression and a super exciting new financial system all at the same time. You know what I like about being invested in crypto? It, it opens your eyes to things that are going on, you know, because you have a future. You know, what do you have outside of crypto? I mean, if you never got invested in crypto, what do you really have to look forward to? Higher inflation? banks collapsing and getting consolidated all of a sudden a new financial system rolls out and now all of a sudden money changes and the greatest part about being in crypto is when money does go digital you're holding the cryptocurrency that's going to move that digital money on a daily basis i'm saying when you hold crypto at least you're holding a future Raising the inflation target would destroy the purchasing power of the U.S. dollar faster as a matter of policy. This is acceptable for the over-indebted U.S. government, but bad for American citizens who will pay more for gas, housing, food, everything. And as all those things continue to rise and the U.S. dollar continues to lose value, eventually it's going to come crashing down. And as it does, we are going to see the stock market and crypto skyrocket like never before. And I think that's going to start this fall. So the government will do anything to keep control and to keep us poor. They know crypto is our way out. You ever wonder why they hate crypto so much in the United States? You know, it's because people are pulling their money from the traditional banking system because they know it's unstable and they're finding new alternatives. And one of those alternatives is crypto. And as th these politicians see that money pouring into crypto and pouring away from the traditional banks, they need to use something like the SEC to come in and crush crypto. That's what's really going on. They're trying to hold on to that system as long as they possibly can, but it's inevitably going to fall. And when I say the fall, I don't mean the U.S. dollar is going to totally collapse to zero this fall. I think it's going to start to lose more value, and as it does, we're going to see crypto rise. That's what I mean by that. But, you know, we're at a time now where you could see things coming together, and you got to stay patient, and you got to stay positive as that happens. That's how you will get rich in the end. But, you know, it, we still got some time ahead of us, in my opinion. But over the course of the next quarter, we're going to see ISO go live. And as it does, we might get our first look at XLM rising up. And then who knows where we go beyond that. But I do know everything looks great around this cryptocurrency. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.